The dementia residents I worked with said they liked to read because it was positive, it made them happy, and it kept them actively occupied. So when I asked them, well, why didn't they read more? They said, because we don't have enough time and it's a scramble to get hold of anything. Now it was a scramble because there was very little reading resources available. And in terms of not enough time, actually it's an unrelenting schedule in a dementia unit. Activities every hour, meals, afternoon tea, all the activities dementia residents are expected to partake in and be active and alert in, no sleeping, no nodding off, and very little time in between to read. This was a common complaint for those that did like to read. They said, look, we haven't got time to read. When can we read? So it's actually a really important point because in the activities in dementia units, it needs to be not just the dementia residents being read to, which is generally for the press reading in the morning, which is fine, but also there needs to be time for the dementia residents to be able to upskill and maintain their reading ability. The dementia residents I found really like to read in a group because they said that it gave them focus, it stretched them to the limit, and everyone else was thinking in the same way, so it motivated them to do the same thing. So the workshop activities that we had for reading were around David Attenborough programs and encouraging them to read the subtitles on the smart TV, the workshops in which I wrote up their names, their comments, the date, and encouraged them to read. When reading, also encouraging them to read out loud, spell even, spell it, read it, speak it. And that was a really good way of them being able to get their reading skills back. And then with the singing, that was fantastic. The golden oldies karaoke singing. When they were reading that up on the smart TV, the music oh, and the words to the songs, I'd encourage them to read, not just remember from past memory, though many could, but also to read what was up on the screen because they'd have past memory in part of the song because they were all the favourite songs. So when they linked into past memory, they could also link into reading on the screen and that enabled them to get that cognition going for the reading. So reading's fantastic for cognition. It's just really helps dementia residents in so many ways. Gives them concentration, focus, cognition, confidence, and it's enjoyable. And they get to know what's happening in the world. If they're reading the newspaper, for example, if they have a newspaper, that is. Unfortunately, on average, only about two people in the dementia units of 30 that I worked in, um, two people out of 30, had the subscription to the newspaper, though a third of them wanted it. So it really needs to be known that dementia residents would benefit so much from their newspaper subscription. It really needs to be maintained. So these are some of the ways of being able to get reading going and encouraging cognition. If you can see that your mother, you know, enjoy, well, if your mother has enjoyed reading, there was one dementia resident at the unit. She was a lovely lady. She used to come up to the smart TV and read out, out loud all the subtitles. She was a really good reader. And I said to her family, uh, oh, your mother really enjoys reading the subtitles on the TV. And they said, yes, she's always been a good reader. But they didn't bring in any reading material for her to be able to maintain that reading. So I managed to get a whole lot of National Geographics from a relative, another relative. And this woman would sit at the dining table in the kitchen and read to a little group of dementia residents all about the animals in Africa and all the other wonderful things in the National Geographic, show them the photos, and then she'd read the titles and a little bit of the first paragraph. They absolutely loved it. So there's many activities that can be garnered and gathered together 
for reading and of course the women's magazines the omnipresent women's magazines i mean this generation loves women's weekly and women's day and there were two relatives that brought in these magazines me and you fantastic help because some dementia residents with less ability can be a bit rough on the magazines you know tearing ripping drowning whatever so you need quite a pile to keep them fresh and new looking so these two relatives brought in the magazines and it was fantastic for the dementia residents some just flick through them some just enjoy the pictures and many read them so i've written about these topics at length in the two books the resident's voice and the resident's rise both on amazon and on my website everything in the description below so thank you for your looks, likes and views and please pass on the links. Thank you.